In the vast terrains of North America, roams a creature that effortlessly encapsulates nature's raw power and meticulous artistry, the grizzly bear. From its profound cultural significance to its astute adaptations, the grizzly's tale is one of resilience, evolution, and a deep-rooted connection with its environment. Scientifically denoted as Ursus Arctos horribilis, the origin of the name grizzly is etched in history, suggesting either the bear's grizzled fur touched with golden and gray hues, or an allusion to its formidable demeanor. Throughout indigenous cultures of North America, the grizzly was revered not merely as an animal, but as a symbol of strength, wisdom, and spiritual introspection. Nestled within the grizzly family tree is a unique subspecies, the Kodiak bear, or Ursus arctos middendorfi, exclusive to Alaska's Kodiak Island. Larger and distinct, it is a striking representation of nature's ability to sculpt species based on their surroundings. The grizzly's range paints a vast canvas, historically widespread from Alaska to Mexico, and from the Pacific Ocean all the way up to the Mississippi River. Their territories and their population have been greatly reduced due to western expansion, human intolerance, market hunting, agriculture, and the loss of key species. Their current territory now stretches across parts of Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Washington, and even pockets in southern Colorado. In Canada, they're found in British Columbia, Alberta, Yukon, Nunavut, and the Northwest Territories. Their populations in the prairies are locally extinct, and further population collapse is expected in coming decades. The Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada lists grizzly bears as a special concern species due to characteristics that make them particularly sensitive to human activities or natural events. In Alberta, the grizzly bear is designated as threatened, while in British Columbia, it is blue listed. In the USA, grizzly bears in the lower 48 states are listed as a threatened species under the Endangered Species Act. Grizzlies face tough challenges of shrinking habitats and human encroachment. So let's continue learning more about them and help support conservation efforts. When considering the grizzly's size, one must account for territory and food availability. Coastal grizzlies, with ample fish and marine resources, tend to outweigh their inland counterparts. Depending on their health, sex, and age, adult grizzlies can span an estimated weight range anywhere between 150 to 800 pounds, or even heavier in rare circumstances. The weight of a grizzly bear can also vary depending on the time of year, as they typically gain weight in the fall in preparation for winter hibernation. Upon rising to their full stature on hind legs, well-fed healthy grizzlies can tower at an impressive 8 feet or even taller. Distinguished from their black bear counterparts, grizzlies sport a pronounced shoulder hump and a unique concave facial profile. Their formidable bite, boasting a force exceeding 8 million pascals, is so potent it could shatter a bowling ball. If you're finding this journey through the grizzlies' world enlightening, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth explorations into nature. Their distinguishing rounded ears separate them from other bear species. Their eyes are incredible, with a special membrane that helps them in the dark. The tapetum lucidum acts as a bio-mirror by reflecting incoming light back through the retina. It enhances low-light vision. Effectively, it is doubling the light available to create an image. And while they won't be able to register the same bright and varied colors visible in daylight hours, this evolutionary adaptation allows these giants adept nocturnal navigation. Their senses, particularly olfaction, are their guiding compass. Able to detect scents from 20 miles away, they traverse vast terrains with precision and find available food with ease. In their interactions with one another, silent gestures often speak volumes as vocalizations are rare. Subtle movements, postures, and even the clattering of teeth convey messages with their community. When vocalizing is necessary, females will generally moan, grunt, or growl as a means of communicating with their young. Males do similar vocalizations, but also bellow loudly during mating season combats with other males. The posture and actions of a bear can reveal much about its intentions, both to other bears and to humans. A grizzly that is retreating, seated, or resting is signaling its lack of desire for confrontation. In contrast, yawning, avoiding gaze, and staying still suggest a bear that prefers to be left alone. Aggressive cues in grizzlies include ground slaps, ears pinned back, head lunges, or sways, and charging. 
When a bear rises onto its hind legs, it's often not an aggressive gesture, but rather a way to gain a clearer view of its surroundings. From sturdy paws capable of digging through hard earth, to claws designed for hunting, climbing, and fishing, every inch of the grizzly serves a purpose. Their claws can grow up to four inches long, the size of some human fingers, and are formidable weapons against predators or prey. Their incredible speed of up to 35 miles per hour is a testament to their evolutionary refinement. Cubs, under the watchful eye of their mothers, engage in playful skirmishes and mock fights that are rehearsals for the challenges of the wild. Grizzlies are adept swimmers, a skill they hone from youth and leverage during salmon hunts. In rare instances, they might even swim long distances to find new territories. Their paws even act as natural paddles, helping them move through the water. With 42 specialized teeth, grizzlies are dietary generalists, or omnivores. They feast on berries, plants, insects, carrion, fish, and small and large mammals alike. They are especially gifted at successfully hunting young moose, elk, caribou, and deer. Grizzly bears have been known to prey on domestic livestock, such as cattle and sheep, leading to significant financial setbacks for some ranchers. Their dietary preferences shift with the seasons. Come spring, they lean towards herbaceous fare. But as fall approaches, they prioritize calorie-rich foods like salmon and berries in anticipation of hibernation. Their behavior of caching food, a precursor to their winter retreat, showcases their keen understanding of seasonal cycles. Contrary to popular belief, grizzlies don't hibernate in the same deep sleep as some other species do. Instead, they enter torpor, a state of reduced metabolic activity with a slightly lower than average body temperature. Even so, their bodily functions exhibit remarkable efficiency. In this state, they can wake quickly if threatened or disturbed. As winter approaches, bears undergo a phase of hyperphagia, amassing up to 400 pounds in anticipation of hibernation. Often, they'll bide their time until a significant snowstorm blankets the area before settling into their den, a tactic that diminishes the likelihood of predators discovering their shelter. Remarkably, during their hibernation phase, grizzly bears have the ability to partially reprocess their body waste, recycling urea into protein. This is an important part of their ability to go dormant. Without this ability, their bodies would continue producing waste until it reached toxic levels. While the Rocky Mountain grizzlies might sequester themselves in dens for almost half their lives, their coastal counterparts blessed with abundant food sources spend notably less time in such seclusion. In certain regions where sustenance is available all year round, some grizzlies even forego their hibernation torpor altogether. Historically, the warm climate meant that the California grizzly, now extinct, didn't need to hibernate at all. In the stillness of hibernation, female grizzlies usher in new life, birthing cubs who thrive on their mother's milk gaining vitality for the rest of their sheltered months. Remarkably, they neither defecate nor urinate throughout this extended period. Come spring, male grizzlies usually stir from their slumber in early to mid-March, whereas females reacquaint themselves with the world in April or the dawn of May. Grizzly courtship and mating unfolds primarily between May and July, reaching its zenith in mid-June. Female grizzlies commence their maternal journey anywhere between the ages of three and eight, often welcoming litters ranging from a solitary cub to a rare quartet. A curious nuance in grizzly reproduction is the delay in egg implantation until the bear's winter hibernation commences. As winter deepens, typically in late January or the earliest days of February, dens echo with the soft cries of newborn cubs. These cubs share a bond with their mothers for two to three years. However, grizzly bears have one of the lowest reproductive rates among terrestrial mammals. The female, or sow, usually doesn't reach sexual maturity until they're five years old, with some exceptions. It may take a single female 10 years to replace herself in a population. Sows typically see a decline in their reproductive capabilities by their mid to late 20s. The maternal instinct in grizzlies is fierce. They become formidable when their cubs are perceived as threatened. Cubs acquire life skills predominantly by observing their mothers, from the art of the hunt to discerning what can be eaten and what can't. Tragically, many grizzly cubs face a precarious existence, with nearly half not seeing their second year. Threats range from natural predators and environmental challenges like treacherous river crossings to human interventions and even male grizzlies. With a lifespan stretching up to 25 to 30 years in the wild and even 40 in captivity, the grizzly bear's journey is replete with many challenges and marvels. In regions where grizzlies roam, it's paramount 
to safeguard food in bear-resistant containers, a vital step in diminishing potential confrontations between bears and humans. Venturing in groups of four or more substantially reduces the risk of bear-related injuries. For those residing in or exploring grizzly habitats, arming yourself with bear spray a potent variant of pepper spray is advised as a preventative measure against unforeseen encounters. And if I can personally help you learn anything from this video, it's vital for you to please understand this. Never feed bears. In some instances, when bears wander into human populated areas or pose problems, they can be humanely trapped and relocated to remote areas. Regrettably, the more prevalent outcome for grizzlies perceived as threats to human safety or assets is euthanasia. Such Dire measures often stem from bears being lured by unsecured food sources, resulting in aggressive tendencies or confrontations in recreational areas. With their position as a threatened species, it's crucial to recognize that feeding bears inadvertently jeopardizes their very existence. The repercussions can be fatal for all involved, human and grizzly bear alike. With that lesson, thank you for journeying with us through the legacy of the grizzly bear. If this exploration resonated with you, do consider supporting our channel by liking and sharing this video. These take a lot of time and effort to produce. If you're interested in supporting this channel further, I am a wildlife and nature photographer. You can visit my personal website or Etsy shop to see my work. For further reading and my sources, please see the description. I leave you with this quote by Frank Craighead. Alive the grizzly is a symbol of freedom and understanding, a sign that man can learn to conserve what is left of the earth. Extinct, it will be another fading testimony to things man should have learned more about but was too preoccupied with himself to notice.